everyone, I'm here to teach you how to set up GitHub using a Mac since I had quite a lot of trouble using GitHub when I was doing my final project and there wasn't a lot of instruction on the internet of how to do it and I was just very confused. So anyway, looking at the GitHub homepage, you can sign up to create an account or sign in, which I'm going to do in a second. But before you do any of that, make sure you download the actual GitHub app for your laptop. And this is what it looks like down here. And yeah, it's just like a regular app. So once you have that all downloaded, head back here and sign in to your account on GitHub. So I'm going to be using my school account and then it shows options, but none of this really matters. This shows what I've created using the GitHub app. There's, I know there's ways you can do it straight from this website, but as far as what we're going to be doing with it's going to be all through this application. So, and make sure you're signed in on this app, otherwise it won't sync with your actual account online so it shows that okay I'm signed in using this account which is the same as I have online as you can see right here so when I click on that it shows what I have so say I want to create a new repository so I go to this little add and then I, I actually get the the path to what I want to upload so github is mainly used for when you have a project and you're saving changes that way if something happens to your computer and you lose all your files you can still go back and get that last um, file that you updated if that makes sense so it's like a saving sort of software so say I want to create a repository of assignment 3 it doesn't really matter what that is but we're just gonna create a repository of that Okay, so this is just from an old project. So I'm going to title this Assignment 3, and you can you have to have a title to commit and sync, but you don't necessarily need a description, but it is helpful to have one. So I'm going to commit and sync and push it, and it's pushing to GitHub. Okay. And now if we actually go, if I refresh the page of my username, you'll see that assignment 3 is here. So now all of those files will be there. And if you are actually working on your computer on a specific file, when you go back to GitHub, right here instead of commit and sync, it will say commit changes or something along those lines. Or yeah, some, something like that. So then you just hit that and then that saves the changes. And every... And it doesn't override it, so you can go back in time and pull files if you made a change that you don't want to save. That way, you don't have to go back and change everything. It's all saved in GitHub, so you can just download those files. Um, and that's pretty much it. This shows your history. I just did assignment three, so that's why that's there. And we're not going to worry about branches right now. That's more advanced. So... Yeah, I think one of the problems I was having is I was trying to sync it up here before I actually did this, and then I tried pushing it and all this stuff, but make sure you actually do this step first, and then you should be good. Um, but if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the down bar below, and I'll try to answer them if I can. And if I can't, I'll search the internet for an answer, because I know how frustrating this stuff can be. So, good luck using GitHub, and... Yeah, like this video if you liked it. Bye!